Yo, 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 my home nizzles! So now I play Sync in a uh, mono color match. And um, Sync is a player I've played once before, and um, he's now a member of Team Zeal. So um, we're having a mono color match here. I do with my Galad, and he leads with an Azelf, and so sets up Stealth Rocks. This is my uh, Choice Band Galad, so I decide just to go for the Night Slash, and I get it down to one health, and. Um, yeah, I decide to switch out just because I'm afraid he'll explode, so I actually go into my awesome damp polytoad. But instead he goes into Luke. And um yeah, about Luke. <laughs> yeah, he goes for the R sphere and he does a lot to Polytoad, and I'm really surprised because this Polytoad is a special wall, and he did that much damage to me, and then what pissed me off even further is my hypnosis mist, and I really wanted that thing asleep, so oh well. So now I go into Galad. And, um, he aura spheres me, and, um, that's, like, not very effective, um, because Galad is part psychic. So, um, I just go into Psycho Cut, because, um, if and if he switches, I mean, it's a kind of an unexpected move, it's stabbed, um, it should do a lot of damage to Luke anyway. So now he goes into this thing, this Azumarill, and I know I can't probably kill it in one hit, but it is banded, so I'll see how much damage I can do and see what this Azumarill locks himself into, since most Azumarils are choice banded. And he goes for a Giga Impact, which really surprised me. Not a whole lot of um, Azumarils carry that. So I figure it's like free setup fodder, so I can go into Breloom and spore it. So now it's asleep, I'm just going to set up the sub, and obviously he's going to switch, and he decides to switch into Bronzong. And, um... Yeah, Focus Punch should do quite a bit to Bronzong, but this ha Bronzong happens to have Reflect. So he sets up the Reflect as I'm trying to Focus Punch, which means um, Focus Punch won't do a whole lot to Bronzong. So I hit him, and it does less than half. Well, it does de it does actually more than I expected it to do, um, actually. But I do less than half, and um, I'm just going to Focus Punch again. I mean, it's free damage as far as I'm concerned. And yeah, he goes into Gliscor. And um, that's pretty cool. Um, actually not really, because he resists the focus punch. But I get a crit, guys! So, yeah, crit's pretty awesome. And, um, yeah, I'm just gonna seed bomb him here. Um, it's normal effective and still does nothing, but oh well. So he sets up the rock polish, and, um, now the sword stance. So he's, like, setting up on my Breloom, and I'm kinda scared. Um, because if this guy has a move set of, like, Ice Fang, then I'll be royally screwed at this point. But instead he baton passes, so it's a baton pass Gliscor. And he baton passed into this guy, the Bronzong again. And, um, the Reflect wore off, which is pretty bad for him. Um, now he goes for the Earthquake here, and he breaks my sub simply because, um, now it has a Swords Dance. But, um, I go for the Focus Punch, and he decides not to set up the Reflect again, which he probably should have. He should have set up the Reflect there again, because even if Bronzong died in two turns, I mean, at least he would have a Reflect up for his next Pokemon. But he doesn't, and instead he just breaks my sub and goes on a loop, which is just as good. It forces me to switch anyway. And I go into Politoed pretty much as Death Fodder, seeing what he'll lock himself into, and he locks himself into Psychic. Which doesn't quite kill me, because like I said, this Polytoad is a special wall. But, um, it does, it is a 2 at KO, so there you go. Um, I probably should have just went into Tyranitar now. <laughs> but yeah, I probably should have went into it to save Polytoad for later, but I, I guess I just didn't. So I go into Tyranitar, and he has to switch because he's locked in a Psychic. So I go for the Dragon Dance, and, um, because I know he's locked in a Psychic, and, um, it's like a free set up for me, and I go for a Stone Edge and I miss. I'm like, come on. So now the Gliscor goes for the Earthquake, and that's super effective, and um, yeah, not a whole lot to say. It hits me down to 117, roughly, and I'm just hoping my other Stone Edge will hit. And um, yeah, I go for the Stone Edge, and it does hit. Thank you, God. So now he goes back into... Um, he goes back into Luke, and... Um, I know they can carry Vacuum Wave, and most spec sets do, but I just didn't want to switch, um, because Vacuum Wave would be doing a lot to my team anyway. So it goes for the Vacuum Wave, and it kills Tyranitar, and that's rather sad. So now I go into Mence, because Mence can take it, and um, this is actually my really, really cool um, Mix Mence. So yeah, he decides to switch out into Vaporeon, and I go for the Earthquake, and uh, this is a physically bulky Vaporeon, so the Earthquake doesn't do a whole lot, but hey guys, that's what's so great about Mixed Mets. It's because there's not a whole lot of good mixed walls out there, so now I can just switch the type of my move. So I'm just going to go for the Draco Meteor, and the Vaporeon isn't going to be able to take a Draco Meteor. So the Vaporeon goes down to the Draco Meteor, and I'm just like, 
effing yes, I love Salamence. <laughs> or mixed meds. So yeah, I lose some special attack, but that was well worth getting rid of the Vaporeon because now I know his only Pokemon left are the Luke and the Azumarill, neither of which should be a threat. Um, he decided not to use the Vacuum Wave and trying to use a move that would kill me, but I just go for the Earthquake, and that's an obvious KO. I mean, it's super effective, Life Orb, you know, and Luke doesn't have great defenses. So he only has Azumara left, and he's not going to get the wake here, so I'm just going to Outrage for the win. So good game, Psych. Uh, write, comment, subscribe, guys. And, um, yeah, pretty good match. Um, really had fun. Monocolor rules. All right, peace. Yesterday, my question of the day was, what is the best defensive type? So today I ask you, what is the best offensive type? Um, in my opinion, it's probably Ice. I mean, it's a great... Um, offensive type overall. Um, it can kick the crap out of dragons, ground types, flyers, all that annoying stuff. Just handled perfectly by ice. Um, a close runner-up, fire. Just because of the amount of steel in this metagame, you'd need fire. Um, but fire and ice, man. Big two offensive types. What is, in your opinion, the best offensive type?